drop uh, heel to toe drop uh, the difference of uh, width you have between the the heel part of the the shoe I don't have a shoe um, and the the toe part the toe box part okay That's it. Okay. So the way the shoe tilts or the the inclination of the of the foot. I've been running with shoes like this very this is more for cross training or fitness but it's very close to uh, running shoes. You can even run on, the, on these shoes. Okay. Uh, I've been running, I ran uh, for nearly an hour. And really, really this psychological terrorism against um, very thin shoes what people call minimal shoes or barefoot barefoot shoes okay uh, I, I find barefoot shoes a, a contradiction if you are barefoot barefoot you you're not wearing shoes anyway um, I'm not that young I'm 50 and okay I I was a runner I started like uh, in uh, April now we are in February uh, but I must admit that I have a kind of a gift for running because I um, in my past I was uh, kind of fast and If you work or you muscular muscular strength of the feet, even running long distance, if you have a good rhythm, it's not of a problem. I mean, I know wearing protect shoes is more comfortable, um, and when you we are not, you are not wearing. Um, these kind of shoes your feet have to work much more so you actually feel show you you feel the your the muscle of the upper part of the uh, of your feet like this this um, sore after at this kind of running so there are moments that you regret not wearing more protective shoes but there are even moments that you feel so um, in touch with the terrain and the, the, your gait is, is much more natural uh, that um, make up for the for the strain on on your feet um, you you run much more naturally and uh, we say in Italian you jump like a cricket when you run and that's a very good very good um, sensation so um, I've been working on uh, on strengthening the feet muscles the calf calves mm, muscles there are some exercises you can do you can check here online online on, uh, on YouTube anyway that's not one thing for professional runners or very young runners 
um, and they say you're gonna have problems but I tell you I had more problems um, when I was running with protective shoes than when I run on, with heels there must be a reason um, so I know people tend to go for the easiest um, option but really you should um, you should try out shoes like these um, I don't know uh, the price per kilometer because the these shoes can even cost less but they last less so uh, you at the beginning you can mix them when they you run with your regular shoes and little by little you introduce your uh, minimal shoes I know if you spend a lot of money you would like to have all these technical things and I came to the point that the more you have in your shoe um, the more you tamper with the, the natural mechanism of running you shouldn't do that unless there is a specific reason to do that and even pronation people tend okay uh, I think that I do that and in spite of all this, this I had more problems when I was running with the shoes that have all these um, systems um, in the sole the sensation that you have if you develop your muscles in your feet is is much is is much better however much they say that you're running on clouds and all this um, hullabaloo um, all this um, um, I cannot come up with the right word anyway um, I think a lot of these systems are just fads are um, the ways to to make to make them cost more if you have a, a shoe that basically is an upper part and a lower part and nothing fancy you cannot sell it for a high price so um, but the sensation that you have is really amazing and even better in when I um, try to really run barefoot on a, on a lawn I did run a lot of a long time I just ran like 15 17 minutes that's the most I could do complete barefoot um, but the sensation was quite good and there you have even more problems with your feet I mean uh, you're, they are really doing a lot of work um, so um, I thought the running uh, nearly one hour wearing these shoes could be a problem I must admit that I don't do that on a daily basis but I think uh, that I could do that um, in maybe in one month two months time and um, my um, next shoes are, are gonna be sketchers go go ride that is basically a very flexible shoes but um, has a good um, cushioning uh, the other one I had I have is the I'll show you is the 
is this. It's the pure connect. I don't have, ex I, I must admit, I don't have extreme, uh, like, uh, pure, what is it, Adidas uh, with uh, almost nothing, okay. It's like curved. This is a shape that is very useful when you run, not very comfortable when you're walking. You can see there are points where there's no mid, there's no mid sole at all. These are the points where you are supposed um, to run. There's more grip, okay. There's more wear and tear, so there is a carbon outsole. Um, Flexible is quite flexible, but it has a spring, you know, it's like there are mm, other shoes. I have the Nike Free, but the problem with my Nike Free is not a problem, I don't know, it's five. It's not the extreme two uh, or three. I found the five. Um, I, I'm not, uh, I haven't decided yet uh, what is my um, race of choice, 1500 meters or um, 5K, 5Ks, um, maybe I can run both, um, so some days I, I do this interval training Yes, workout that is more geared towards 1500 meters. Uh, I like 1500 meters. I used to run it when I was younger. I had a lot of satisfaction and it's very, I mean, it's uh, very tiring. Um, I was more daunting to me than a marathon and I ran marathons strange I ran 1500 meters and marathons but I was I could I did better when I ran um, 1500 meters um, a lot of adrenaline uh, there is also a component of a strategy there, there, there are strategies. You have to think what you're doing. Uh, marathons, you, you have more leeway. And then 1500 meters, you make a mistake. Uh, it's difficult to make up for the lost time or if you are bottled, uh, it's difficult. Yes, you have to think and uh, have good strategies uh, and uh, and you have to be ready to 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 have a lot of pain basically a different kind of pain when you run a marathon you have but the, mar the pain you have running a marathon is more in your muscles you really uh, at a certain point you feel your muscles uh, become kind of heavy also your feet that doesn't happen when you run a 1500 meters but the problem is uh, uh, you can't keep the pace you you really really um, you have a, an acute really pain uh, this part that's par for the course, that's part that goes with, uh, with uh, the race. Okay, I've been speaking a lot about um, running barefoot. I posted another video where I speak about running barefoot. Um, another video where I speak about shoes. And I strongly recommend um, 
be in shape, be fit, um, and you can wear these shoes, but you have to um, do some workout mainly for your shoes and your calves and, and you can run uh, you can run using um, minimal shoes you, you can uh, step up I mean you, you start from air um, pure flow and then you have to pour connect and maybe pure drift if you if you wear a Brooks I'm gonna wear also uh, Skechers but there's not there, there are not many models uh, Skechers the good thing about Skechers is that are not very expensive and the quality is not that they are they're not that good I think I haven't worn them um, but by what I read, uh, I've read, it must be very good. Um, and sometimes what I read matches uh, the impression. When I read everything about this, and when I um, first r uh, ran using these, it was, it was kind of matched what I read. These shoes are, you can really feel the, 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 the the ground, they help you run fast. Oh, there is a fair amount of cushioning considering the shape and the weight of the shoe. I don't like green, but that what I that was part of the luck of the pot, not part of the luck. Anyway, goodbye.